Drogue pyros have fired, and we have good confirmation of Drogue shoots. Two Drogues. It's a view from inside the uh, parachute bucket. Dragon nominal descent rate and recovery team reports a visual on two healthy drugs. See those two shoots that you see be released from the capsule just like so and release the four parachutes now deploying. At this point in time, Dragon has saved all of its propulsion systems and is now uh, has already terminated that nitrox suit and cabin purges. Those were helping to keep the crew cool during re-entry. Looks like we have four very beautiful and healthy main parachutes. Dragon, we see a nominal descent rate on four healthy mains. Dragon Endeavor continuing its slow descent. There we can see splashdown on so at this point in time, the Dragon capsule has saved all of its systems. Um, Mission Control did a uh, systems check to make sure that that was uh, true and accurate. They gave the fast approach teams the, uh, the green light to approach and begin the rigging process, which is what we are now seeing underway. Um, additionally, they have recovered the parachutes from the water. Um, so those were, uh, we were able to see those being um, dragged onto a boat. Dragon, brace for capsule lift. There they go. This is time we'll brace. We mentioned a couple of times that recovery team's familiarity with these operations and able to move a little bit quicker. They prepped the crew for about five minutes of capsule lift. That happened in just a couple of minutes. And it looks like we are starting to see the capsule be lifted out of the water. We can now start to see the heat shield. Dragon now in the air, the hydraulic lift being uh, activated and uh, will be utilized to center Dragon on the nest there at the aft end of the vessel. I love this view because you can see the state of the heat shield. It did such incredible work during atmospheric reentry. Dragon Endeavor now placed into the nest of our recovery vessel, Megan. Side hatch, uh, if we get these views uh, from the inside, we'll also, we'll also be able to alternate from the outside, is now open. You see the recovery team is open and waving to the crew. First humans that the crew six has seen uh, on the ground in six months. Looks like we got some fist bump action. <laughs> Thumbs up. Seems like the crew is in pretty good spirits after their uh, journey back home. We're not getting audio, but I am getting reports that on the recovery ship, there was a big round of applause uh, from all the recovery team on the on recovery vessel Megan as soon as that side hatch opened for the crew, congratulating them on a successful mission and successful return home. Ready to receive Sultan Al Niadi. Again, he is the re last remaining crew member inside Dragon Endeavor. And if he makes it out in the next minute, which it looks like he is, it will be exactly one hour on the dot after <laughs> making splashdown. Not bad. 60 minutes exactly. So once again, 
Uh, nominal operations are to assist all crew members uh, to the medical bay. The return to gravity can be pretty jarring on the human body. So we slide them down a little dragon fun slide, uh, assist them uh, into the, um, the wheeled chair and uh, roll them over to the medical bay. And just like that, the fourth crew member, a one hour exactly on the nose since splashdown, um, has now egressed from Dragon Endeavor. Looks like smiles and waves and applause all around.